In this video, I will show you how to create more interactive column chart which calculate the total overall difference between two specific year. Now, for example, in this case, I have this simple data sheet on which I have country, year and total sale amount. And the goal is to create a totally dynamic column chart which calculate the percentage difference year over year. But not only this, let's say someone asked during presentation, oh, I want to find the total percentage difference from 2018 till 2024. So you can simply select the yearly slicer and this is the overall changes. But not only this, you can now filter the country slicer and it will show you each and everything dynamically. In this case, I have the yearly sale data, but you can use this technique for daily, monthly, weekly, any type of data seek, you can use this chart easily. How we can create, I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this data sheet in table format. The first thing I will click anywhere on this table, click on insert and we need to insert pivot table on a new worksheet and simply hit OK. The next thing I will simply click on here and move this on a rows field, click on total sale amount, move this on a values field. Again click on total sale and simply move this on a values field. Next I will click sum of total sale to column right click here you can see show value as percentage difference from for the base item in this case I will simply choose previous and hit ok. This is how we calculate the percentage difference. Make sure you sort the first column properly. So simply click on this one and you need to select the first option. Sort smallest to largest and this will avoid any error in future. The next thing I will click on design and simply of the grand total as well. Now I will rename the column properly. The next thing I will select my entire pivot table, hit Ctrl C, click here, Ctrl B and this is how we duplicate our pivot table. Now I will click on my second pivot table, click on pivot table analyze, here you can see insert slicer and we need to insert two slicer based on country and year and simply hit OK. Now if I click on my country slicer, you can see only second pivot table is updating and the goal is to connect the country slicer with both of the pivot table. I will click on my country slicer. Here you can see report connection. Simply click on this one. In this case, we need to connect both of the pivot table with country slicer and simply hit OK. The next thing, if I click on my early slicer, only second pivot table is updating and this is what we want. Now our pivot table are ready. We need to create few helper column. For now, I will clear this filter, click on I2 sale, simply type equal. In this case, I will select year and total sale column in first pivot table and simply hit enter. Next, we need to define another column. Let's say I will rename this dynamic sale. And for this, we need to build a very easy XLOOKUP function. Simply type XLOOKUP, open parenthesis. For the lookup value, I will click on i3 sale hit comma. For the lookup array, I will click on a17, select the entire year column. In my second pivot table, hit F4 key to log the reference hit comma. And for the return array, I want to return the total sale column. Hit F4 key to log the reference. If not found, in this case, I want double quotation mark, a null value, close parenthesis, hit enter. And this is how we get dynamic sale column using XLOOKUP function. Next, we need to create percentage difference. And for this, we also need to build a very similar formula. Simply type equal XLOOKUP. For the lookup value, click on I3 sale, hit comma. For the lookup array, simply select the entire year column. In my second pivot table, hit F4 key to log the reference. And for the return array, I want to get the percentage difference. Hit F4 key to log the reference, hit comma, and if not found, I want to get the null result, close parenthesis, hit enter, and simply drag this formula down. And now I will simply change the format to percentage with one decimal point. Next, we need to create another column for data label, so I will simply write data label. For this, I will build a very easy function, text function, open parenthesis, what are the value? In this case, I will click on K3 sale, hit comma, and for the format, I want dollar, 
हेश कॉमा हेश हेश कोटेशन मार्क अगेन क्लोज पेरेंथिसिस एंड परसेंट एंड नाउ आई विल डिफाइन करेक्टर टेन फंक्शन एंड परसेंट अगेन एंड वी नीड टू डिफाइन वन मोर टेक्स फंक्शन ओपन पेरेंथिसिस फॉर द वैल्यू आई विल क्लिक ऑन परसेंटेज डिफरेंस हिट कॉमा एंड फॉर द फॉर्मेट आई वांट टू गेट लेट्स से जीरो पॉइंट जीरो परसेंट कोटेशन मार्क अगेन क्लोज पेरेंथिसिस hit enter and now simply drag this formula down the next thing i will select my first three column click on insert we need to insert a column chart and simply hit okay now i will select my chart and simply hold control key to select my two slicer hit control x insert a new worksheet control v i will do a little bit formatting first and now click any of the column in chart right click format data series here you can see series overlap i will simply make this 100% and for the gap width let's say i will define 15% hit enter now if i select any of the year you can see it highlighted the current selected year if i hold control key and select any other year this is how we highlight the two year now i will click anywhere else and i will simply click on orange bar click on plus icon here you can see data label simply apply data label more data label option expand this option value from cell and we need to define a range so i will simply click on sheet 4 and here you can see data label column i will simply select the entire data label column hit okay uncheck the actual value and show letter line make the font same let's say in this case i will select the orange font color increase the font size a little bit make it bold and now if i select any of the year it will automatically highlight those selected year and if i hold control key and select let's say 2016 this is how we calculate the or or difference and now if i change my country everything dynamically update this is how we create this useful and interactive column chart i hope you like the concept i will share this file with you and if you have anything else in mind just write me comment thank you so much